everybody, Heather here. So today I thought we could work on this cute Myra card that I just put into the store as a kit. And I've already stamped my image on um, Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And the cute little stamp is um, from CC Designs um, by Sweet November Stamps. Amy Young made it and it's really cute. But it is pretty big so you'll want to put it on a bigger sized um, card or maybe cut it out and put it on a smaller card. Um, look really cute like that too. So let's get started. Alright, so for the skin I'm going to use E21, E00, E000. For the cheeks I'm going to use R20 and R30. I'm going to start with E21. And I'm going to start down here on her feet. And I'm going to lay down where I want my shadows to be. I'm going to go a little bit underneath of her skirt. And then right along her shoe line. And then I'm going to go to E00. And there's such a small space left on this one, I'm just going to fill that right in. And I'm going to do the same thing for this side. Then I'm going to grab my E21 again, I'm going to go do her hands. And I'm going to go right next to her sleeve of her dress, and then I'm going to get the underside of her arm. Maybe a little bit on her thumb right there. And I'm going to grab E00. Brush right up to the line there. And I left a little bitty spot there that I'm going to fill in with E000 on this hand. And I might brush over this side just a little bit. And I colored the wheelbarrow handle there a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that because the gray I'm going to use on that will cover that up. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do her face. So for her face, I'm going to do right next to her hairline and right down to her bonnet, the back of her neck, right here next to her dress. Maybe a little bit in front of her hair, just a tiny dab. And I'm going to do her lip and the bottom of her chin. Then I'm going to grab E00. I'm gonna lightly brush over that line I just laid down. And blend that out here into my white. Then I'm going to grab E triple zero and fill in her little nose right there. Then for her cheeks, I'm going to do R20. Going to give her a little rosy circle right here. And then I'm going to use R30 to feather just the edges. Then I'm going to grab my E00 again. And then I'm going to lightly brush over that cheek. And then E triple zero to blend that line. Like that. Alright, so for her hair, we're going to use E79, 77, and 74. I'm going to start with E79. And I'm going to put a little bit right underneath of her bonnet right here. And maybe a little bit in that little curl where it curves back up. And then she's also got a little bit of her bun sticking out back here. So I'm going to get right next to the bonnet with that. And then for her bangs, I'm going to do right next to her bonnet. 
and then it kind of curls back up right here so I'm going to put a little bit above that curl I'm going to get the underneath side and then she's got how right here it looks like it kind of dips in a little bit I'm going to put just a little bit right there and maybe where it looks right here where it kind of dips a little bit I'm going to put a little dab right in there and then I'm going to grab E77 and I'm going to go add some right here and that's such a small space I'm just going to fill that little spot in and then I'm going to add down here to her bun and again that's such a small space left I'm just going to fill it in and I'm going to go back over here to her bangs and we're just going to add a little bit more to the line that we already laid down and then I'm going to fill it in with E74 Next, let's go work on her bonnet and her dress. And for that, I'm going to use G00, G000, G quadruple zero, and BG triple zero. So I'm going to start with my G00, and I'm going to start on her little bonnet. And for her bonnet, I'm going to do the underneath side first. So I'm just going to go right next to her face and brush out with my G00. And then I'm going to grab G triple zero and fill that in. And I want it to be a lot darker, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my G00 again and go over that again. Add a second layer to darken that up. And then my G00, or sorry, G000 to fill that in again to blend my line. Okay, and then I'm going to go down here and do this other part of her bonnet, and I'm going to go ahead and go with G00. And then G triple zero. And I lay my pin down on top of the color I already laid down. And then G quadruple zero. I did the wrong one the last time. So I'm going to go back over this with the G triple zero. I wondered why it wasn't getting very dark. And then G quadruple zero. That explains why it was so light. I think I did that when I was coloring the original image too. I'm like, why isn't this working very well? And I'm going to darken it up just a little bit more, so I'm going to grab G00 again. And then G000. And then G quadruple zero. I'm going to brush backwards so I don't go out of the lines. A little bit easier for me. Okay, and the paper I use kind of has a bluish um, green tone to it, so I went ahead and grabbed my BG triple zero and I went over the whole hat area just to add a little bit of bluish green to my color. Like that. 
let's go down here and do her dress. I'm going to start with her arms and I'm going to start with G00. And this sleeve on this back side is pretty small so I'm just going to put a little line there. And then I'm going to put a little bit more on this sleeve. And kind of get skinnier as you go up to the back. And then for the bodice of her dress I'm going to do just along her arm and her apron string. Then I'm going to grab G000. I add a little bit on top of this line and brush this one up a little bit more. Again, getting skinnier as you go up here towards the top. Oops, in the back of the dress. And then G um, quadruple zero to fill it in. And then again, I want to make it just a little bit darker, so I'm going to go over it a second time. And this is G00. G000. G quadruple zero. And then again, to give it that blue-green um, tone a little bit, I went over it with BG000. This gives it a light blue-green cast. Okay, I'm going to go down here and do her skirt. And I'm going to again start with G0. I'm going to brush away from her apron. And then G triple zero. G quadruple zero. And again, I'm going backwards up onto the image so that I don't go out of the lines. I wasn't worried about blending too much that first time because I knew I was going to add another coat, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my G00. I'm just going to feather back out to where I went. I'm going to go just a little bit further down this time than I did the first time. G triple zero. And I'll finish that off with G quadruple zero. Then I want to do the underside of her little skirt over here a little bit, so I'm going to grab G00. I'm going to go right next to her skirt 
And then I'm just going to fill in that little bitty patch I left with G000. And then again, to give it that blue-green tone, I'm going to go over the whole um, skirt area with my BG000. like that. Okay, so next let's do the band on her hat, the bow on her apron, and the flowers in the wheelbarrow. For that I'm going to do R08, R05, and R02. And I'm going to go ahead and start on her hat band. So I'm going to start with R08. And I'm just going to brush a little bit down here on the back side. And then I'm going to grab R05. And then R02. And then we'll go down here and do the bow. So I'm going to do right next to her arm with R08. And I'm going to do a little bit on this little bow. And this one where it comes out, and inside this little curve, and I want to get where it's touching her dress back here on the back, and then it kind of looks like it dips in right here, so I'm just going to add some of that R08 right there so it gives it more shadow in that curve. And then I'm going to do R05. And then I kind of want, this little bow looks like it has a little indentation right here. I'm going to go back over with my R08 and add just a little bit of a shadow right there. And then I'm going to take my R05 to just blend that a little bit. Then I'm going to fill all that other stuff in with R02. And R05 and R02 are a pretty big jump, so you may have to do a little bit more blending. Or if you're having some troubles, you might do um, the tip-to-tip -tip technique, where you um, take your R02 and touch it to the R05 and pick up a little bit of color, and then um, blend it in. So that looks pretty good. So let's go do these flowers. And so for the flowers, I took my R08 and I just brushed a little bit on the bottom of each right next to the stem. Turn my paper a little bit. My wrist doesn't turn quite that far. Now I'm going to grab R05. And then I'm going to go over the rest with R02.
I'll go over mine another time just to blend it a little bit better. Like that. I think that looks pretty good. Alright, so now let's do the leaves on the flowers, and for that we're going to use G46, YG61, and G20. I'm going to start with G46, and I'm just going to give the bottoms and up this little line a little bit of color. And this one's kind of touching the little nutshell right there, so I'm going to just get a little bit on next to that. Same with this one, it's kind of touching the shell, so I'm going to give it a little bit next to that. And then we're going to go with YG61. right over the top of the 46 and pull a little bit of that color up into your white and I'm going to fill that in with G20 like that. Now let's work on the shell and for that we're going to use E44, 43, 42, and 41. I'm going to start with E43, or E44 and I'm going to go along the bottom of the shell. So I'm just going to draw me a nice little line right along each of these little things. here all the way around to this side and then there's some also already some lines in here so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of color on top of each of those This one like that and then I'm going to grab E43 and I'm just going to go right over the top of those lines that I just laid down just maybe go a little bit further out And then we're going to grab 42. And again, we're just going to add some more color right on top of those lines we just colored in. And it's just softening those lines just a little bit more. Let's better get the bottom side of this one a little bit. And then I'm going to go over the whole thing with E41. Next, let's do the handles on the wheelbarrow, and for that we're going to use C8, 6, 4, and 2. I'm going to start with C8, and I'm going to do the very bottom of this handle, and I'm going to do right next to her hand just a little bit. And then this one I'm going to do just behind her hand just a little bit, 
and then right where it comes out for her hand, just a tad bit. And then I'm going to grab C6. And on this back handle, I'm just going to add a little tad bit more on top of that. And fill in this back section because there's just hardly any left on there. And then I'm going to start this one away from her hand. Pull that out just a little bit. And I'm going to switch to C4. And this section over here only has a little bit left, so I'm going to go ahead and just fill that in. And then for this side, I'm going to pull this line away so it softens that line just a little bit. But I also want to start it up from the bottom down here, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more, some of the, my C4 down here. And then I'm going to fill that in with C2. Next, let's do the little button wheel, and for that I'm going to use YR24 and YR23, and then I'm going to fill in the outside with Y23. So I'm going to start with YR24, and I just want to add a little bit of shadows around the inside of the little button indentations, so I'm just going to give each one a little bitty dot of color, and maybe the back side of this um, little spoke. And then I'm going to grab YR23 and I want to fill in this middle section of the button and I tried not to color over the button holes And then I took Y23 for the outside. I'm going to lightly go over the inside of this button just a little bit too. Like that. And then I want to darken up my shadows just a little bit so it's a little bit more defined and I'm going to leave them that way. So I'm going to go back with my Y24, sorry, my YR24 and just add those back in like that. I forgot to do her shoes when I had the grays out, so let's go ahead and do that with C8. Just a little bit along the sole of each shoe. And then C6. Add just a little bit more on the top of it. Let's just soften that line just a little bit. And then C4. And it looks like that is all the room we're going to have. So I'm just going to stop with the C4 and not add the C2. Alright, now let's do some grass underneath of her feet. And for that I'm going to use YJ67, 63, and 61. And I'm going to start with um, YG67. And I want it to be a little bit darker, um, kind of this side of the button and the wheels, like the sun's shining this way and it's casting more of a shadow behind her. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here underneath this wheel. And I don't want it to go just even with the wheel, so I'm going to go up just a little bit and pull out away from that wheel a little bit. But it's also going to have a little bit of a shadow in front, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this right there in the front. That. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here with these sh with her her dress and her shoes. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and pull back away from her. But again, you're going to have a little bit in front, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit right here. Okay, and then I'm going to go with 63. And I'm going to go over the top of my 67. I'm going to pull it back further. Pull this one forward more. Same with back here. Pull away. Get a little bit more up here on top of that shoe. And then I have 61 left, so I'm going to go ahead and add some 61 on top of that. That looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it like that. But I also want to add some grass strokes. So I'm going to grab my G YG67 and I just want to add some random little sticks of grass in here. So I'm just going to use the very tip of my pen and I'm going to do like a little check mark. And I'm just going to put some grass in my little areas here. And I don't care that it's going over the top of that wheel. And then I'm going to grab 63 and I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm not going to go right over those streaks that I just put down. I'm going to kind of go a little bit off or even in different patches. go with 61. And you just add as many grass streaks or as little grass streaks as you want. Just like that. So to save some time, I went ahead and cut out my little paper piece um, for my stamped image. I stamped some of my the apron onto this cute pattern paper that comes in the kit, and I cut it out and glued it on here so it could dry. And now I'm going to add a little bit of shadows onto um, her apron with W0. And I want to shadow underneath of her arm a little bit. And I'm just very carefully... So I'm just going to shade right along the edge, right here, just a little bit, maybe underneath in this little, where it goes underneath of her apron, and then right behind her arm, and underneath where this bow would be tied, just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab W double zero, and I'm just going to lightly go over that line just to blend it out just a little bit. Like that. And then there's this cute little um, flower down here that's stamped into it. I'm going to take RO8 and just color in the little petals on that flower.
like that. So now let's go ahead and add um, some clouds. And I've got my nonstick craft mat, my girl, my cloud template, and as you can see, I use it a million times. And then I've got a finger dauber and my tumble glass distress ink. So I always start with my clouds somewhere near the bottom of um, the image. And I put down my cloud template and then I just put my finger dauber in there, my ink, and I start on the template and I just brush away from the template and over the top of the clouds. Like that, and that gets them started. And I may want to go down here and add just a little bit in between her dress and her apron here, just a little bit. And maybe over here where I started my cloud, go down a little bit further. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to move my template, and I move it around so that it's not in the same place and look the same all the way up. And then when I get over here closer to her face so I don't color her face, I tend to put my cloud template on top of the, whoever and then do some clouds away from the, the person. It makes, me, it makes it a lot easier for me not to accidentally color their face blue. And I just do that all the way up until I get some clouds however I want them. And I do some over here on this side. like that. So that is our cute little Myra card and if you're interested in getting a kit go ahead and head over to Heather's Hobby Haven and pick one up and I'll put a, a scroll up link down at the bottom of the screen. And thanks for watching this time. Have a great day. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe underneath. Thanks. Bye.